everyone welcome to a new video i hope you're doing well so as i'm filming this we're about halfway through almost halfway through the lockdown version two <laughs> i haven't been filming much apart from merlin it's just like he is now our life at the moment and i've got nothing else to fill you in on really apart from that our lives have just been about an adorable gorgeous puppy and i'm just so glad that we got him i still can't believe that we did you know particularly with the prices of puppies i can't remember if i talked about this in the last video but he was really expensive but cheaper than all the other puppies that are out there at the moment oh you're in a naughty mood at the moment aren't you merlin <coughs> no <sighs> oh my gosh those cows are still or well, even the bull is going for it i don't know what they've seen at the bottom of the field it's just bizarre i just saw one cow just running and they run fast you think it's like a racehorse out there and then they've all gradually picked up on the fact that something's going on and they're all going for it <laughs> anyway sorry that's really distracting cows running it's just bizarre you don't expect that they can run that fast so let's give you a little merlin update because well that's all i can do oh now lyra is down and she's trying to get out the door excuse me so what was i saying yeah so he's 10 weeks 10 and a half weeks old now and he is oh gosh it's a good job i don't live in a place where there's actual people happenings going on outside my window or i never get anything done it's bad enough seeing what the cows are looking at right <laughs> gosh sorry i'm so unfocused today it's right think helen focus on what i'm trying to say i didn't really have a plan with this video that's why i'm all over the place i think merlin is he's very very intelligent he is picking up training really quickly sit he got straight away and now uh, what he's doing now he's said every time we come in the door he sits on the doormat and waits for me to wipe his paws which he used to hate me doing but he's, I think he's learnt that if he sits down then I'm not having to pull his legs about while he fidgets so he's sort of figured that one out for himself and that's just brilliant I hope he keeps that up and it's very cute he just sort of sits and flops to one side so I can reach all of his feet and it's just typical isn't it that he's all different colours and he's got white feet the most difficult bit to keep clean what else is he doing he's basically completely toilet trained now For a few days he's been running to the door to let us know when he needs to go out. Hello! <laughs> I got it! Good come here! Good boy! Good boy! Baby Yoda! The child! Happy boy! Smile! Yes! <laughs> He's also just got the hang of weight. When there's a treat on the floor, he will actually let me put a treat on the floor, take my hand away, and I'll sort of put my hand out and go, wait, and then he'll go when I say it's okay. So that's good, he's learned that. We completely, <laughs> this is so funny, we realized yesterday, we'd completely forgotten about lie down. We haven't taught him lie down at all, so we need to get started on that for sure. What else? He knows just little things about our habits. He loves lying in doorways. He gets really hot and he loves the draft underneath the door. That is really inconvenient, but he's now at least learned that when you come and approach the door and try and open it, he needs to get up and get out of the way, which is an improvement at the beginning. He'd just sort of like, look at you like what you're doing and I'm here, but so that's good. He's slightly less vicious. <laughs> He still turns into a monster occasionally and you can tell because he has this sort of manic look on his face. He just goes really like overexcited. He's like grinning, you know, he's got a real mischievous grin and you know that when he's in that mood, there's no point in trying to train him to do anything. You'll know that he's totally deaf to you calling him. But the cuteness when he's not in that mood just totally makes up for it. He's just adorable and he's getting more and more affectionate. He he has lovely little floppy cuddles. Oh, he's, he's just the joy we needed in our life. He really is. And today, for the first time, he was allowed out on his first walk. So of course I took the camera along for that. Go on then. We know Oh, he's happy. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, he's happy. He's really enjoying himself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good that he can get out for a walk now now his injections are all up to date because he really needs it he needs wearing out don't meow at me and then try and get away that's a sign that's a sign that i can pick you up and squish you yeah so from now on it's back to daily dog walks and i have missed them i i have missed them so much it really is my sort of it's my therapy time basically and i talk everything over out loud when i'm when i was walking loki and he got used to that he, at first it confused him like are you talking to me am i supposed to be responding to what you're saying and then he got used to it and he realized no she's just talking to herself <laughs> i'm looking forward to doing that again but yeah she comes and sleeps next to him on our bed so she's the one that's most used to him I think Rafiki is still being trying to be the alpha male of the family and he's jealous he's always been a jealous cat every time Chris gets near me he gets you can see the look in his eyes he's planning Chris's death you can tell and Tinkerbell our old cat doesn't like him at all your claws are stuck in my cardigan I can't do anything I'll let you do it then dear animals not covered in fur and now I'm getting distracted because uh a very small murmuration of starlings just went past the window. I'm so lucky to live here and have this view. I tell you, I, I write a thankful list. I, th I write a thankfulness list every day. At least I try and do it every day. You know, it almost gets boring writing down. I'm so grateful for this view out the window. Let, this, let me show you because the sun's just come out. And now that lovely autumn evening sun is, is coming through. Beautiful, I love it. Look at the sun on the rose hips. That's so lovely. Sadly, I need to cut that down because we keep getting attacked by the thorns when we walk past. <laughs> I've just noticed that I have actually been rambling on for 15 minutes, so I'm gonna have to cut this down to make it remotely not deathly dull. And I will update you soon. I don't know when it will be. I've got no plans at all. I've done a lot of sort of thinking and journaling through plans already for next year and trying to decide what I want to focus on next year because um, I know everyone's going to be saying the same thing. This year's been a funny old year <laughs> but it has, um, I don't know, I'm in one of those, I'm in a bit of a funny mood. I think just ignore me. I'm just sort of decide, thinking to myself, I don't know if I'm gonna carry on very much with YouTube. It's been, it's so time consuming doing the edits, particularly when I chat away like this. And I've just not been able to get faster at that. I'm not a very good talker. You probably notice when I film that I do lots of little jump cuts. And that's usually when I'm pausing to think what to say next or I've messed up my sentence and I feel like I need to say it again or I feel like I could say that a bit better, a bit more succinctly or less rambly and I say it again. Um, see, um, I'm umming all the time and I just think, I just sort of started to come to the conclusion that maybe even though I do enjoy it and, and I'm particularly glad that I've done vlogs, the last video that I've edited was the one of Loki and I'm just so glad that I did vlogging. Uh, if you saw that video, you'll have noticed that I've got a few clips of like Loki's first week at home. And then there's a whole jump. I didn't even film that Christmas, his first Christmas. And we've always had a video camera since Rain was a baby. We knew that we wanted to record things in our lives. So since 1995, we've always had a video camera. But obviously at that point, it wasn't on our minds to film. And I've got no footage of Loki getting older. That first stage, I've got him like literally when he was a tiny little puppy and then a clip where he's sadly out of focus where he's a slightly bigger puppy <laughs> and then fully grown and nothing in between like this whole year missing and most of the footage was from the videos that I've done vlogging so it's been something I've been glad I've done. Come on then Merlin. Mm. 
Is she too sheep? I don't know how to be sheep there. Well, thank you for letting us be with us, with him on his first walk in a public place. <laughs> it's alright. It's been I like helpful. Seeing him discover so I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds as to whether it's worth it or not because I've noticed nobody clicks on the links below. <laughs> the reason why I started it in the first place is to try and drive traffic to my Threads of a Fairy Tale website, but nobody does that. So it kind of seems a bit pointless to share these. I may as well just try and get in the habit of filming for my own pleasure for watching back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and again! <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful, look at you! But perhaps it's not really worth me editing for YouTube. There's there's not enough of you, sadly, even though I've, I've been vlogging for... I've been doing YouTube now for six years, which is incredible. Um, but I haven't grown in popularity, so I don't earn any money or virtually any money from the advert. I don't have enough audience for sponsorship deals or anything like that, then um, it makes it difficult to justify the time. So I might just not be doing so much YouTube in 2020. Hello, I am interrupting from the future as I'm editing this video. As you may have realized, I was a bit of a moaning myrtle sort of a mood when I filmed it. And um, I suppose I'm really quite embarrassed and a little bit ashamed that um, I didn't express how grateful I am to those of you who do watch me regularly. Um, you, you know, there's some of you that turn up for every single video, even if you're not interested in van conversions or wherever we're traveling to or whatever we're doing. And I really do genuinely appreciate it so much that you do choose to spend your time with me. I really do appreciate it. And I feel so bad that I didn't say that to begin with. So I do want to give a little bit of a shout out to some of my regulars. I'm, I'm bound to forget people and there's going to be some of you that lurk about but don't comment so I don't know who you are. But um, anyway, thank you so much. Emily and Noah, Taz, my parents who sometimes also show the videos to my aunt and uncle, <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Uh, Jane, Katie, Libby, Harry, and probably Andy as well. Anna at You Got Me In Stitches. Thank you so much for your cards and your happy mail. I really, really do appreciate it. It's really brought a smile to my face. Sandra, Angelina, thank you for shouting me out on your channel. And most of all, thank you for your purchases from Threads of a Fairy Tale means so much to me it really does my frugal raggy life create what may emily hops the wonderful crazy charity case <laughs> the gorgeous claire and spiros go check out her channel tracy jane barbara g doris magenta jacqueline and ingrid and i'm sure there are others i'm sorry if i haven't mentioned your name as this sounds like a bit of a cheesy thank you acceptance speech or something but um you know, I did just want to say thank you. Yeah, your comments really do mean a lot to me and do make the videos not at all pointless, like I said earlier. I, I just meant in terms of earning a living, in terms of making money, you know, that that's all that I meant when I was saying that, really. Yeah, I mean, I'm still amazed that so many of you do think that, you, that I'm interesting enough to watch. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the puppy clips over the top of my ramblings and that's all bye for now but i have got a nice end to the day we've been watching harry potter on um sundays i know everybody did that in lockdown number one but uh we're a bit behind on that train so um we've been watching them now which has been really nice actually i've been really enjoying them it's been a long time since we've seen them so we were on the fourth film and we're having a McDonald's. I'm looking forward to that. I hope you're having cosy times in your life. I hope you managed to fit that in. By the time this video goes out, hopefully lockdown will be over and I'll be getting ready for Christmas, which is exciting. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye for now. I'm just recording you with your legs out behind. Because that's not going to last long, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. Mm, I'm 
so big. You grew again overnight. You grew again, didn't you? Good boy, this is nice. Not trying to bite. 